Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, and I wanted to talk further about reductions. Um, and this, because this part is key to sounding fluent. And I know that we've talked about this quite a few times. Stressing the appropriate words is key. However, I think that many languages stress um, a syllable in each word, whereas we've talked about English, we do not do that. So knowing which ones to reduce and how to reduce is the key, right? Stressing is easier, in my opinion, than reducing. So here I've got some examples with the preposition to, okay? When I say this, I am not saying today, I'm saying today, today. So I'm jumping from that T to the D very quickly, okay? So it almost sounds like today. And that's just kind of showing you that that sound is taken out, just like we kind of use it in a contraction. Again, this is just for the sake of talking about how something sounds. Again, with tonight, 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 you can say tonight, that's fine. Um, but just understand that when you're listening to a native speaker talking, you're going to hear tonight, tonight. Okay, so it's very short here, uh, very, very short, short. In many cases, it's actually just removed. That vowel, vowel sound could be just actually removed, okay? Today, tonight, tomorrow, okay? These are obviously not prepositions. They're parts of these words, but it's a good place to start, okay? Today, today, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow. So go right from that T to the M, tomorrow. 